Today we're going to be talking about the cross concept out of the Y off trips pass formation, also known as U trips. This is going to be in the Patriots offensive playbook. Now, the play we're going to be using to showcase this concept is going to be the play curl flats, but you can literally apply this concept to any formation and really almost any play in the game. The beauty of the cross concept is it is a really good route combo that will be man coverage consistently, especially this year, and zone coverage. Match coverage, not really that good this year, to be honest. This concept will attack that as well. Now, if you want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description down below. Uh, the link's going to be down below. It's only $10 to join the Patreon. It'll get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. And uh, like I said, you get everything uh, for just $10. Link's in the description. So uh, the cross concept, why is this concept so good? It's so good because it beats man coverage. Inside breaking routes such as crossers, post routes, drag routes, in routes, slant routes this year are really good against man. So uh, how we're going to set this up is we are going to streak our, uh, our solo wide receiver. Okay, so we're going to streak our solo wide receiver. And then what we're going to be able to do here is we are going to drag our tight end, we're going to block our running back, and we are going to in route our outside trips receiver. So if you look at this, basically what we're able to do is we're going to be cross. The reason I call this a cross concept is we're crossing the field. And we're going to be crossing from the formation strength side to the formation weakness side. If you think about it from a defensive perspective, if we were to sail or flood the right side of the screen, then what they're going to be doing is they're going to be putting a lot of different zones over there to stop that. So when we come back and call the cross concept, now we're going to be going from the strength to the weakness and uh, be overloading that side as well. So what you're going to see is the first read is always, 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 you're looking at this tight end drag. The tight end drag is really good out of U-Trips. It's really good out of any formation where the tight end is offset. Now, of course, you can look to the streak off rip as well. Um, but if they're, you know, have a safety help, then they have safety help. I want to show you the streak if they don't have safety help. So a lot of people um, that you might play online are going to go to this cover zero style defense. Because we're blocking the running back here, I want you to watch what this safety on the left is going to do. You're going to see that he's going to go into a middle third and he's going to be able to provide some quote unquote help uh, for, for that defender. But let's say they start going uh, a little bit you know, crazy with their adjustments, okay? Because they're going to have to. So let's say they start to go with you. Maybe they go to a coverage like this and you know this is what they're doing. If they start to adjust this coverage where that third is no longer there, and they're going to play press man-to-man. -man. Please look at this streak. Um, it could be a potential, you know, big play for you. Okay. All I wanted to say is if they're in cover zero and there's no safety help, just look at the streak. You want to peak what I call it. I call it peak the streak. Uh, when you peak the streak, then what that does is if they ever bust a coverage or anything, you have a streak on the field. Okay. Now, let's say they play hard flats and they shade underneath to try to defend your tight end crosser your tight end drag then we're turning our eyes to this post and you can throw this post in the middle of the field right when he cuts just like that right there or because we put a streak on the field it's going to clear out all of the zones on the left side all of the deep zones so we can also throw this post when he comes across the field uh late in the play and you'll see pass lead about right here and we're just passing it to the left and you see that even a cover four with outside quarters is not going to be able to play that. Now, another reason why this is such a good concept, specifically out of U-Trips, honestly, is because this specific post out of the play curl uh, flat is going is one of the best ways to run post routes this year. It's going to get over the top of any zone drops. So if they're in a cover two and they have a deep cloud flat defender, you see that cloud flat defender is not going to be able to get back and he's not going to be able to defend that. So... From a defensive schematic perspective, this is now a route that they have to use or defend um, to defend it. So I'll show that real quick. So we're going to use uh, that specific route. And then what that now does is it opens up a ton of options for us over the middle. We can hit our tight end before he gets to that flat zone. Um, you could put your tight end on an in route if you would rather uh, have that, that, that spacing. Uh, you could do that if you wanted to. Uh, but not only do we have the tight end, and this is where this backside in is really valuable. Uh, this backside in, what's going to come across, and you'll see here, it's going to kind of sit in these soft pockets. Now, notice the in route 
does the weird stuff that the saint the, that the slant does. If you don't want that to happen, it's very simple to get that out of the way. And I really only recommend doing it against zone, but we're going to drag him. And you'll see when we drag him, he's going to come across the field, and you can throw him right in his pocket. And because of the way the formation works, and because of the spacing that is already existent uh, in this formation, what you're going to notice here is the the uh, drag is going to be able to come across at a point that makes a lot of sense because the tight end will have uh, cleared out the left side uh, yellow zone and flat. And then you see here the drag is coming across and we can wait on that to kind of break free from the zone coverage. And you're able to hit it right there for easy read. Now you can do this against man coverage, which I'll show it. It's not bad because we know in man coverage, they have to do what? They have to go use with the post route. They have to go use with the post route. So because they have to go use with the post route in man coverage, then you're able to throw that drag right in that little pocket and be able to have a really nice read uh, for you. And it's fairly consistent in terms of spacing and you don't have to worry about this, uh, this drag route, you know, uh, doing weird stuff like stopping in the middle of the field. And then of course you've got your post against man. Great concept here. This is play curl flat out of the u -trips formation. This is a concept. You can literally apply this to pretty much any formation in the game. Um, and I love the cross concept. I think the cross concept is one of the best ways uh, to attack man coverage this year. And it also does really good uh, against zone coverage. It's a very versatile passing concept. And it's going to force your opponent to have to provide a lot of um, – you know, why I literally – this is what I'm talking about with the in routes – they literally just stop even against man coverage. So do the double drags. Um, but the really the really cool part about the cross concept is that it does a lot of stuff for your offense because now they have to not only worry about your formation strength side, but they have to worry about your formation weakness side. And then that is going to kind of get them out of blitzing, force them into a lot of coverages they probably don't want to be in. Guys, thanks for watching the video. To get the, in all of my eBooks, join the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description. I guarantee it's going to make you a better Madden player. It's only $10 to become a member. And uh, like I said, get you access to everything. All of the eBooks, all the updates, everything, 10 bucks. And uh, I guarantee you, you will become a better Madden player for it. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.